This is All India Radio, Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. The centre will provide financial assistance to the Tripura government to raise 10 travel model villages covering 8 districts of the state. The proposed model villages will have all modern facilities, all weather roads, paka houses, toilets, electricity, drinking water supply, community halls, market sheds, internet and mobile telephone network, Tribal Welfare Minister Meevar Kumar Jamatya said. A sum of 10 crore rupees will be spent on each model village. The project will lay also lay emphasis on socio-economic development of the villagers. Special focus will be given on agriculture, animal resources and vocational training to upgrade skills of the villagers, he said. The Tribal Welfare Department, with the help from the district and subdivision administrations, is working on the project aimed at boosting socio-economic development of the indigenous people. National Liberation Front of Tripura, led by Sabir Kumar Dev Burma, has agreed to abjure the path of violence and join the mainstream. An MOU was signed in this regard between the Centre, Tripura Government and NLFTSD. Home Ministry said the group has agreed to surrender its 88 cadres with it, their weapons. The surrendered cadres will be given surrender benefits as per the Surrender Come Rehabilitation Scheme 2018 of the Ministry. The government of Tripura will help the surrendered cadres in housing, recruitment and education. The ministry said the centre will consider the proposals of Tripura government regarding economic development of tribal areas of Tripura. The NLFT has been banned under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Act since 1997. The group has been involved in violence operating from their camps across the international border. In Assam, the BJP has asserted that the autonomous councils will continue to exercise their powers under the sixth schedule of the constitution. Participating in an AIR talk show, BJP spokesperson Dr. Numal Momin alleged that the Congress is spreading rumours that the centre may scrap the Article 371. He said Congress leader and former Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi is making baseless statements that after the scrapping of Article 370, the BJP could now touch the sixth schedule status in Assam. He said that the opposition is doing propaganda in the Northeast. Participating in the talk show, senior journalist Bupendra Nath Bhattacharya said that Jammu and Kashmir would now be hugely benefited after scrapping of the Article 370. The Assam government will celebrate the Independence Day in a grand manner. Steps are being taken across the state to celebrate it with a three-day program. Various competitions, cultural events, felicitation programs, rally and cleanliness drive will be held during the celebration. The Guwahati Office of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting will hold a cultural program in the evening on the 14th of this month. Chief Minister Sarbananda Sanwal will hoist the tricolor in Guwahati on the 15th of this month, while all the other ministers will unfurl the tricolor in the various districts. In Assam, security has been beefed up in the state, including Guwahati, following report that a militant group has sneaked into the state from Myanmar. Sources in the Assam police said that the group may carry out subversive activities in the state ahead of the Independence Day celebration. Security has been tightened in various vital installations and important locations by the security forces. World Biofuel Day was observed yesterday to create awareness about the importance of non-fossil fuels as an alternative to conventional fossil fuels. Speaking at an event in New Delhi, Petroleum and Natural Gas Minister Dharmendra Pradhan said, harnessing the full potential of biofuels to generate alternative energy in various forms, including ethanol, 2G ethanol, compressed biogas and biodiesel, will help achieve Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of reducing import dependence of biofuel and ensuring sustainable energy future in the country. Union Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports, Kiran Rijiju, has said that the ministry will be exploring sports talent from every nook and corner of the country. He said that the Sports Authority of India training centers have been established in different parts of the country for this purpose. Rijiju said that the ministry is financially supporting the academies run by various sports persons. He further said Kelo India will provide cash prizes to the players for the first time this year. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from the Shillong station of All India Radio.
Have a nice day.